back we're here yes back in Key West still or still in Key West you know what I mean but Clark finally showed up in one of the videos the tarpon tarpon last video he was here and there that did the last time we tried he didn't want to come but I guess it was a smart choice because we didn't catch anything but we're on the big boat we're going sail fishing baby it's last night turned into what? It was monsooning outside. Yeah, it was a it was a hurricane and they didn't warn us. <laughs> it, it freaking was crazy. I, it was it's like seven something right now. It happened at four o'clock and yeah, I'm tired. I watched, I woke up and couldn't go to sleep. There's just thunder and lightning through my window. Yeah. They shook the house. But anyways, we're about to go sailfish. We're gonna go try to catch us at least three, get everybody one. Practice for the Key West Challenge, which is in two weeks. Two weeks. From, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah. From Thursday, two weeks from Thursday, so a little more than two weeks now. But yeah, I'm gonna go practice with the team. Carlos isn't here, we have Juan. And then we got uh, Miguel still. I don't know if Jack's coming. Jack has to leave. Yeah, Jack's got to go, I think, to the Bahamas. He got called on a Bahamas trip, so he yeah. has to go so for he's gotta, days. He's going to run over there and then run, come back. But Chip's not here. Chip will be here for the Key West Challenge. But yeah, it's going to be a little choppy outside. Be all right. They like it when it's rough. But we'll see y'all out there. So we're here, getting bait, pulling up, about to get some fresh goggle eyes. This is where we came and got them the other day, but not when we went sail fishing, when we went bottom fishing. But yeah, so we're gonna get some fresh goggle eyes, maybe some herons, and go get after it. About to put some goggle eyes out, start fishing. We need at least three shellfish today. But it's not as rough as I thought it was gonna be. You good? Yeah. Alright, tell them. Uh, he was just right here. Did he kill no. the bait? No. Oh, right on my bait. McGill, is he on my bait? Did he, did he just bite me? All right, we're fishing now, boys. We are fishing now. We just got everything put out. We just had a Wahoo right at the boat. Hard lost it. No, it, it didn't eat the hook, it just kept uh, grabbing the fish. It wasn't a big walk through, but it just kept grabbing and sticking it in his mouth like the barracuda was yesterday at the dock, or the, in the latest, last video. But yeah, we're fishing. See if we can get us a little sailfish. A couple of them, actually. Before the day's over. It's 
852. See what happens. Well, the wind just picked up a lot stronger now. Got some white caps. And our kites are trying to fly away from the boat. The wind picked up. Yep. Look at the kites. But it's all right. Hopefully get a fish here soon. Tracing some jets. Go. All right, we're gonna think run, think west. Yeah, that's what he said, but run west, try a different spot. We didn't have no bites over here, so. See what happens down there. There we go, finally. Freaking Kai would not cooperate with us and go up, but we got him up now. So we got a mark right in front of the boat. Let's we'll try to get some baits in the water. Okay, can watch this one. All right, well, it's been a little while since we've been able to do an update. Our flag kind of got wet and it was just not flying, but we finally got another flag up or kite up and it's actually flying out, but it's white capping. We moved down, it's about seven miles west and finally fishing again, so that's good. But we are hoping for a sailfish here. We, we marked one as soon as we got here, or marked a fish, but we had the kite problem and lost it. We couldn't get that kite to fly. It's all right, we got it now. Time to capitalize and catch us a fish. Y'all stay tuned. We got a king mackerel over here messing up all our baits as soon as they get in the water. But we're about to put on this wire leader and catch him so he stops. But hopefully we can get a freaking bite, dude. We need a bite. But I'll let y'all know what happens. What happened? King mackerel got us. Well, we're wrapping it up. Just reeled everything up. We're gonna head to the head back to the marina, and we'll fish tomorrow. But we'll see y'all back at the marina. Psych! You really thought we were leaving this early? Come on, man. No, we're uh sure. at the next spot. I was just messing with y'all. We're uh we got one o'clock. We got three more hours. Two, whatever, something like that. Uh. Oh yeah, we're at the next spot. Oh really? Let me know down in the comments. Is it a new spot? Because we're in the same body of water. I don't know. There's a reef right there. It drops off to the deeper water, so maybe we'll get one. But the last place we were, a freaking boat running, running by us. We were heading to where they were. They were coming. So we're coming this way, they're coming this way. They're full speed. They stop out of nowhere, throw a bait out, hook up on a sailfish and we were right there. So I don't know what happened with that. I don't know how they knew there was one right there, but they knew. Oh, we're gonna try to catch this one. So, uh, y'all stay tuned and get ready. We just got eight. Don't know what it is. It's probably some little small fish, but I have no clue. He was running right to the boat. Blue marlin bait. Black fan tuna. Back home. We'll be darting this thing up. I'm going after a blue marlin. But here, just some bait. Uh, I think we're tight. All right, one of them's super high up. 
another what we have here is another black fin tuna a bigger one you think he breaks uh 20 pounds all right we just got done catching another black fin bigger but not what we're after still pretty cool though but gonna get back after it, reset everything put the kites back out six baits and hopefully try to catch a sale before the day ends we have a free spool, put it in free spool, kite goats out, and these little black things you're seeing right here. I'll show you in a second whenever it comes out. Right there. That, that's a swivel. Grabs our next rigger, or what we call the clip. Then once we get that, we put the next line in there, next one. So we'll have three and then we just send it way behind us straight back. Instead of it being right here, right at the boat, we can send it straight back. So a little more detail on it. So there's three of these about 30 feet, 40 feet long. And then there's another one. So it doesn't, they don't tangle up unless they get they wrap around it there, but the, the fish don't tangle up. Has a loop on top. Our weight, keep it down. Leader to the bait in Clarkson. Usually we clip it with our line, but here we're using this. But go here, on there, clip it. And as soon as we're ready, you ready? Send it. Send her on her way. And I'll wait for the next one to come out. There's the next one. Grabs it. Next bait. So that's how it works. This is how you rig a goggle eye. Well, at least how we do it. You go through the top of the back and you go right back around your hook. Wrap, wrap. Do it, wrap again. And yeah. And that's how you rig a goggle eye. Well, guys, sorry we didn't catch y'all a sailfish, but we got we got tomorrow. Uh, it was just slow. We got two blackfin though. Car's gonna eat those tonight. But yeah, I don't know. It's just slow. Yeah. One boat over here. Tomorrow, we're going west, west, west. Only one boat over here. Here, take that. Only one boat over here. Us and that other one that caught the fish right in front of us, but, I mean, I don't know. But we're heading back to the marina. We're either gonna sign off now, or at the marina, or we'll sign off tomorrow on a, I don't know, we gotta figure out if this is gonna be a two part video or not, but we'll see y'all at the marina. All right, guys, we're back at the marina. Clark caught two blackfin. <laughs> uh, no sales. No sales today, really slow day, but there was there was no freaking life out there. Yeah, no, nope. really, no boats. No one boats. Bo one boat pulled up next to us yeah that was the fish. weirdest thing they they knew where that fish was <laughs> like that was weird literally they ran and we were just bumping and they literally stopped 200 feet in front of us and caught a fish i don't know i, I don't know but we uh tomorrow we're gonna get up early and we're going due west as far as we can go and then hopefully that's where they're all at because nobody was up here around us Supposedly, I'm guessing that's where they're all at, but I don't know. Turned out to be a pretty nice day, actually. 
It's fun. Practice. Did a lot of did a lot of control in the deck today. Jack's not here or Chip or anybody to help us, so really me and Clark worked the back deck all day. And it's hot. Felt good when the wind was blowing earlier this morning, but this afternoon was brutal. But hey, yeah, about that twelve o'clock mark, it was hot. Yeah, it got hot. But we'll see y'all in the morning. Probably five o'clock. See you then. We're pulling up at the bait dock, about to get some bait, and then blasting off, going out. What time is it? 7.45. So, gonna, gonna grab this, head far west, like we said yesterday. Gonna go real far, and then hopefully go get on some. Pick y'all back up <laughs> when we're putting baits in and kites up. <laughs> Fingers crossed we can catch one, we're fishing. Keep adjusting the um, the reels. Why is that? Uh, so the baits don't go flying in there. Since we have the kite, it drags up and down, and so the baits will come up and down with the kite. So we just have to keep the baits down, keep on free giving them line to this down. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Hey, Trayson, yeah. clear the baits. Is that what is no, not that. no, this is no, getting too long. I no, this. Okay. He, Watch yourself right, when you're go him, stepping man. across, Tracy. That's what just got popped. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, right here, right here. Yeah. The drag, the drag was set all the way loose. Well, we are one for two, we think. Maybe one for three, I don't know. We got burn off, uh, not sure, but we released one, so that's good. Clark and Tracer are soaked, thanks to Pelagic. I got me some uh, some chubs, stay dry. I don't have any other clothes on the boat. I ain't trying to be wet right now. Later when the sun comes out and it's hot, I'll be all right, I'll dry off quick, but not right now. But hopefully we can get it like a triple head or a double. But we'll see what happens. Y'all stay tuned. It's about to be crazy. Hey, right here, right
park. It's fighting a 10 pound fish. His arm's hurting, so we're about to, have to put him in the battle saddle. Ever. Never were ever say my arm. He doesn't need to put it on the camera. He needs to arm's hurting, we gotta put him in the battle saddle. Uh, it's not looking good for Blue Marlin season. Clark hurting on a 10 pound selfish. But we're about to get it right here. We just released our second one. Doing pretty good. We had two bites again that time. Houston, he doesn't know how to eat a fish. You, you, you watched it happen. He's over two by himself right now. But yeah, I feel great. And my arm is not hurting. But yeah, we're going to get back after it. Hopefully catch some more. Yeah, buddy. Uh, that's two for four or five, whatever y'all want to call it. But trying to get that triple we had a chance at a double but when i tell you this was the smallest sailfish i've ever seen it was the smallest it was like this long skyrocketed out of the air hit my bait and just stole my bait literally just ripped it off but i never if you want to consider it as a miss then it's a miss but i never got to feed it but we found them they're biting hopefully they keep on biting until we leave so we're going to get back out there and try to triple up real quick. We're going to do a kingfish right now. I have both baits, but I'm about to stick this thing. This is your uh, kingfish. Got some sharp teeth on it, but yeah, nice size one. The box you get. They feel about that one, Clark. Feel good. We actually hooked one finally, uh, kingfish. <laughs> so yeah, they have really sharp teeth. They've been cutting us, but I actually got to poke that one. Those are the things that we've been saying. It's been stealing our bait, and they have been. Big fish. But we finally got one to bite the dang hook. Car's gonna eat him. I'm Car's gonna eat him. I'm gonna set that thing up. I'm just trying to eat my sandwich. Oh, oh. I don't know what's happening. Sailfish right here. Oh, we're on? We're on? We're hooked up. Hi guys. We're hooked up currently. We just got you hooked up. Let me make sure he doesn't run into my other lines. Cut it as close as you can. Yep. Oh, there she goes. Ha ha. Woo. Oh yeah, that was fast. Perfect. All right. Dude, Give me this mic. I'm a professional angler. This fish didn't know it was hooked. I'm a professional angler. I don't play no games. What was that? 10 seconds? Gosh. We got a flying fish.
Really? Alright guys, we're hooked up. That was pretty quick. I watched him freaking. I watched him miss it. I watched him miss it and I didn't think it was anything. And then I saw my bait go flat, so I dropped it back. And then there he was, freaking started going berserk after I poked him. There he is, there but he yeah. is. Going crazy. He's going crazy out there. Yeah, I'm on this line. All right, we just released number four. About to put base back out, get right back after it. Four for six right now. Uh, we're in the thick of it. That white boat, center console's hooked up. There's a boat right off our bow hooked up. That boat just released one. I mean, we are in them right now. All our freaking kites hit the water, got wet. So we only got one right now. We're trying to get the other ones dry so we can have six six baits out but fishing three right now uh yeah it's crazy y'all didn't get to see that other one i just broke it off because it's it was about to go under the boat and it was way up y'all wouldn't have been able to see it. it was way up it was by the bow but yeah that boat's hooked up they're about to release it so yeah we're in them they're fired up right now Go for it. Alright, so the boat right behind us, that center console, they got two hooked up right now. That boat, I think, is still fighting one. This boat's trolling, trying to catch one. There's only one other boat that's using a kite. And I think they're, I think they're hooked up. I don't see their kites floating in the sky anymore, but everybody's really just live baiting, I guess. I guess how they how we do it back home, I'm assuming. But yeah, we're in the thick of it. They're all here. Uh, I'm gonna try to. We gotta get some more weights on these on these uh, bobbers, these indicators on the bottom, so they'll pull the line down. Cause if you look, I don't know how well you can how well you can see it, but this line that's going to the kite there's a huge bow in it a giant bow so you're not you're not going to be able to get a nice tight line because when you reel up the bobber is already out of the water my long right now is swimming on top so yeah we're just trying to try to catch a fish before we bring them back in and have to let up bring all the kites in try to catch a couple fish before that but we need a triple. I might have to put the camera down if we hook up on a triple, let Noah catch one, because we don't have three people. I'm not joking either. If we triple up, you're gonna, you, you, you have to put the camera down. We'll just GoPro it. But uh, we'll just see what happens. We're, they're here. They're in big schools. We'll just we'll see what's going, what's going to happen next. It might be six. We have, if, we, if it went down to six. I'll double, double rod. Yeah. Double reel. I don't know what we do. <laughs> My girl had to stop driving and come down here. But I'm going to get back to fishing. Stay tuned. You're real. Yeah. Real. 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 There he is. Oh, yeah. Here. Oh, yeah. Down and tight. guys like I said we we're in the thick of it it's freaking Miguel just said or he was like five minutes and we're gonna go go do our another drift and literally like one minute left that freaking vicious sail came up and ate 
I, we, me and Clark literally watched his mouth eat eat our bait. So that was pretty cool. Uh, the biggest one we've caught so far, even in Palm Beach, that was the biggest one. But that's no, that's not big. If you go to Costa Rica, that's a baby. We need a, they don't get that big over here. But we're a five for eight now, doing pretty good. Is that, does that even have line on it? Oh yeah, what's that dangling? Oh, is that the weight? So we put some new weights on, heavier so they freaking go down. But we need five more. We need to break ten. We have two and a half hours, and then we're leaving. So we gotta get ten before that. Man, it's been crazy. Blackfin, of course. There's always one out there, but still getting action, so still a pretty good day. Got five sails, now a blackfin, and a mackerel. Couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, leave it in there. You're, you can leave the leader in there with it. But yeah, let's get back after it. I'm doing a little, what time is it? 109. This, we can say, is our midday update for five for eight that was about to fall uh, it's rougher than yesterday a lot more boats today it said it was gonna be calm yesterday said it was gonna be rough it's the other way around and I think that's that's why people are out here a lot more people are out here today there's like 13 boats out of the 13 there's probably five hooked up but we're about to go do one of our last drifts I think like two miles that way. Started drifting back a mile that way. We drifted off from where we were. Well, because we were fighting fish and stuff like that, but we're gonna get over there. And then hopefully get five more. We caught a tuna, first tuna of the day. But yeah, we'll see what happens. See y'all over there. Right, guys I was down here by myself everybody else was inside and we just released another one uh, that's what number number six six for nine now doing pretty good need four more we need a triple header triple header that's what we need every time I go to wire I'm reeling all the rods out because Clark don't want to help me so every time I go to wire I have half a glove on so it looks like I have no fingers in that. But we're uh, putting lines back out. Hopefully get this triple header. And how many How many have you caught, Tracen? Two? I've reeled twice. Yeah, so. Doing pretty good, it's been a fun day. Uh, this is, what time is it? 2.23. 2.23, this is the final stretch here. But uh, it was getting slow. Then they're get, about to get fired back up. We'll see here in a second though. We just hooked up with a Wahoo, cut us clean off. Uh, probably a nice one too, but we're gonna do our last and final drift. We need four more. So, see what happens. We need that double or triple. Hi guys. Well, as you saw, we just broke off a Wahoo. Well, he clipped us. But yeah, that happens when you're using freaking 40 pounds and not when you're sail fishing and not trying to catch wahoo, but yeah. Came up, we fought him for a good little bit, then he just, I guess he just turned the right way and just cut it. But yeah, we're about to put baits back out, make one last bridge. Hopefully we can make it happen, get a couple more. All 
All right, guys. This is the last, I think, 15 minutes. Treat me like white teeth. Don't get me dirty. <laughs> what time is it? All right, guys. This is our last, I think, 15, 20 minutes. What time is it? 3.20. Yeah, so 10 more minutes. We need a double right now. The boats are catching fish. We're catching fish. Now we just need the double. Stay tuned. Hi guys, that wraps it up. 3.30, yeah, just take them off. Just rip them off and throw them away. Or you just rip them off and throw them away. All right guys, it's 3.30. About to, we're wrapping it up. Heading them back to the marina. But yeah, couldn't get that last one. We were six for nine. 66%, that's better, it's above 50, so it's all right, but we'd rather be hey. at 75 to 100 range. But fun day, they were chewing, oh, so we'll see y'all at the marina. We're here, the natural iguana of Key West, swimming across the Great Barrier Reef, AKA the marina. But as you can see, there's no tarpon jumping on him, so. That means he's safe for now, but he may get destroyed here soon. So we won't do the outro until that happens. There he is. Fueling up, just got back to the marina, but six for nine on sales was a good day. Was way better than yesterday. We didn't catch Jack yesterday, but finally found them, got on them. They are biting good. Caught uh, a blackfin, a king mackerel. King mackerel, caught, lost a wahoo. Uh, I caught the biggest sail, you know. I catch the big fish. Sorry. Uh, I don't even know how many I caught. I think I caught two. Tracing caught like four, I think. Tracing caught three. Three. I caught one. Oh, yeah, you were the tuna and the mackerel. Yeah. But yeah, it was a good day. Let me know down in the comments. If y'all liked the video, hit the thumbs up for Clark because he's sad he lost that Wahoo. <laughs> he really wanted it because he. We haven't caught one the whole time. We kept losing them. Let me know down in the comments if y'all are still catching sales right now. How many y'all caught? But we're going to the Tortugas. We're getting out of here. Then we'll be back in two weeks. Week and a half. Week, two weeks from to, or yeah, two yep. weeks from today. We'll be back for the Key West Challenge. So that'll be fun. We're getting where the sales are. Figuring out where they're at. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Hit the little notification thing right there somewhere. It's like right there somewhere. Go follow Gunslinger TV right here. Check out the merch. This ain't Gunslinger TV, but Gunslinger. But yeah, go check it out, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.